Hey, okay, I have to tell you guys what happened when the police came. This is so perfect, I can't even tell you. Um, so I'm rocking and rolling, right? And, and I even said to you guys, what did I say to you guys? That, uh, you know, the waves are rocking here and it's windy and, and my landlord said, be careful because um, it's pretty windy out there. And I'm thinking, no, it's, you know, good exercise. And I'm saying to you guys, you don't have to just be sitting in, you know, uh, or you don't have to be rowing in a canoe to exercise, right? And uh, so I'm talking about that. I'm talking about, uh, this is turning into a much better message because when he comes up to me, um, by the time he got to me, I realized, oh my God, I was rocking and rolling and I wasn't paying attention and I was drifting off course. And by the time I looked up, I was in the middle of the boat lane. <laughs> now it's not a busy day. There's one guy out on the lake, but he's going by pretty quick. So the boat police comes up to us and, he, and he's looking at me and he goes, hi. <laughs> and I said, I go, hi. I go, I am so sorry. I said, I was taking, uh, no, what was I saying? I said, I didn't realize that, you know, as I was rocking along, I said that I was drifting so far off course. And he goes, that's okay. He goes, I just don't want you to get run over. And he goes, um, he says, were you taking a selfie? <laughs> and I said, no, I was taking a video. That's why I wasn't really paying attention because I was videotaping and I was speaking. I do a recording. And he goes, oh, okay. And I said, the stupidest thing. I go, why are you not allowed to take selfies out here? And he goes, I know he's thinking, um, well, Taking a selfie with a racing boat going by, I mean, if you're doing that, if this is what it's all about, you know, probably a good idea to get off our freaking runway, you know? So I'm like, no, no, I wasn't doing that. So it made me think of something. So this is definitely turning into my second big long message. I'm gonna post this on my fan page. Um, I was just with my landlord this morning. I had to get a new battery for my car. And uh, as we're driving along, he's telling me about the neighbor building and he says, I can't see it, anybody's seeing right now, sorry. But he's, uh, He's talking about the next door neighbor and how um, he, he, I guess, was putting up some towers on his house and he had to come out and inspect it. Yeah, everything's fine, blah, blah. And then later, as, after he has it built, he has the, um, the POA for the, like, basically the Canyon Lake Police, which is that guy, come and say, sorry, you know, you, this is five inches over too far. And the guy's like, what? And he says, and then they both said, all they're ever there for is to give everybody a ticket or yell at you or fine you, you know, freaking po stinking police, blah, blah, blah. And he had said something else earlier, uh, a few days before the same thing. And I said, and I had said to him that day, I don't know, you know, I said, I'm, I'm pretty much the only one that's out here on my, on the lake at night in my canoe. And I go late, like late afternoon into the, into nighttime. And I said, he, they have never given me a ticket. They've never yelled at me. I, they actually follow me. And they make sure that I get back safe every time. I said, they're so on my side. And so when he came up to me out there just then, he wasn't nasty. He was doing his job. He's, he's there, you know, to make sure that I was safe. And he was super cool. And he waited and, and escorted me back to make sure. And he realized, you know, I made a mistake. Now think about this. If this has to do with your family, with your parents, with um, your boss, with spirit, your higher self. Because spirit disciplines me. My higher self does when I blow it, you know? It's like smack, get it together. You know better than that. Um, or if we're literally talking about, oh, I wish I'd caught that as he was zooming right at us. He was like beeline right to us, Mr. Mallard. Love him. Um, but if you're thinking about any, any situation where you feel like, you know, you're being policed or, you know, people are on your ass, you know, they're doing their job um, in that sense, you know? And you gotta think about how we have to pay attention to rules. I mean, there are rules in place and it's not like, I don't like rules. I'm a free spirit, I really don't like rules. But there's rules like laws of physics, right? And there's like consequences. You, you throw a freaking rock towards that house at the glass, it's gonna smash the window and that's not cool. That's a law, that's a rule, it should be. It's in your head, in your heart. So basically what I'm saying is, if you're thinking about your like kids, if you're thinking about your mom and dad, oh, they're always here to you know give me a ticket or, or uh, you know, a fine or ground me or, you know, whatever it is. They're always policing me. Well, maybe just maybe that they're doing that to uh, help you out, to protect you. And maybe the same thing with the police here that are trying to help me, you know, and, and they're super cool. And, and it's all in your perspective, I swear, because we have to have, we have to have limits of, of certain types on us for our own protection. We have to, even for ourselves, we put boundaries out, right, to protect ourselves. We, people put up walls around their heart to protect themselves. You don't want that kind of a boundary. We're talking about things that help you and people are bitching about it because they feel like they're constantly just being, you know, ripped off or nagged on or whatever. Maybe change your perspective about the situation, take a look at it, and it might just be something that is actually being done to you. And like, if you feel like this isn't fair, this, I'm waiting so long for this to happen. I've been getting from spirit, this is supposed to be coming and it's not here where it's going on with it. 
Just think for a moment that possibly what's coming to you is better for you and that's why it's taking the time that it is because certain things have to come into play to make it best. All of these different perspectives, you know, when you come out here, all I know is I could have been na 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 POA, laws, rules, bitching, da 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 and, I, and all I've ever had and with them is my help, helping me. And uh, I think it's pretty stinking cool that I'm protected on this lake. <laughs> Look at my backyard. Pretty stinking amazing. Okay, see, I've drifted right over to this guy's dock from, I was in the, way over there. And then before, I, with you guys, I was out, out, not even towards the opening. You probably can't see over there. Like, say, I was probably about here, a little further than that wharf. And then all of a sudden, I'm halfway across the lake. Because why? Because I drifted. This is another message. I forgot that. That's why Spirit bumped me up against this dock. Um, I drifted off path. So there I am rocking and rolling in my boat. Kids, adults, spiritual people, everybody. I'm playing. I'm having fun rocking in my boat. Woo! Your, your boat is your, your vehicle across your emotional waters. Think about this. I'm rocking and rolling. I'm having a good old time. And... I, I'm so caught up in, in, in that, in the enjoyment of, of messing around in my emotional waters, or maybe being depressed in my emotional waters, whatever it is I'm doing, I'm locked in my emotional waters, rocking on this boat, right? Next thing I know, I've drifted so far off course, I could have been run over by a boat, I could have caused an accident. Are you drifting off your spiritual path? Are you drifting um, in your marriage? Are you drifting, you know, is your mind drifting at work? Are you not giving your 100%, 100%? Where are you drifting off course? Because you're fucking around in your boat. Sorry, <laughs> rocking back and forth. There's me probably offending somebody's ears. So I'll, I'll put up above this, uh, what do you put up there? Profanity warning or something? Rated R? <laughs> Restricted for people that don't have control over their mouth. I'm sorry. Uh, I know it slips out every once in a while, but that's what you're doing, right? In your boat. You're massing around in your boat and you're not paying attention and you're drifting off course. And pretty soon it's like, dang, now I gotta roll like crazy to get back there. Or are you messing around in your emotional waters? and you're just playing and you're not taking it seriously and you're having so much fun that the next thing you know you've drifted off and the object of your infection is way over there or they have maybe turned their back and gone the other way and so now you gotta work like hell to get back right? think about it <laughs> hear the coots? did you hear that? how funny is that? okay I'm going to attempt to read a couple of these things oh there's no way I can't Brett, Christine, Brett hey I can't read them all. <laughs> oh well, sorry, I'm gonna head off again. This is part A and part B, so this is part B. Look at this little place, cool, hey? No, I'd like to dive off of that. Going with the flow out here, clearly with Mr. Seagull. I'm supposed to be exercising. <laughs> He's exercising, and I'm just kind of drifting, so hear me, there's my own message. I'm, where, what are you doing, Sherry? Ah! You're drifting off course. You wanted to get out here and exercise, so stop doing text messages. Stop posting for work because you're not supposed to be working right now. That's my message. I was supposed to get away from work and come out here and connect and relax and enjoy, and I ended up working. Because for you guys, this probably isn't what you would call work, but it is my work. All right, I'm gonna go now. Peace out, love you.